Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Spill the Beans right now. Today I'm going to be discussing about the four different part times that I did after coming to UK as an international student. And this was one of the most requested uh, topics by everyone after I shared that I have successfully completed my course, wherein I also mentioned that I have been managing my work as well as my studies. So uh, when I came to UK, my main aim was to complete my degree and then later find an employment which was related to my degree and then work on that. Uh, and uh, why I did part time is because the area that I live in, the city that I live in is really expensive and I had not prioritized uh, uh, part time over my studies because studies is most important and that's the reason why you have come to another country. So let me share where I have found these jobs. Uh, first one was Indeed. Uh, I applied uh, to many places, various places to Indeed and I used to get a lot of call back and uh, whichever was closer to mine, I chose that and uh, then focusing on your university works so university uh, kind of offers you part times and where you don't have to work like exactly 20 hours but you get enough pay so try to get something from your university as well so you have to check into your university portals talk to your alumni talk to your seniors and uh, also with the authorities to get a part-time job and it looks really good on your cv as well and uh, also looking at um, LinkedIn to see if there are any part-time offers from uh, any industry that you want to work on. Uh, maybe look for internships. Internships can also be done in a part-time way. So that should be your uh, uh, a line of search that I wanted to share. So here I had a strategy of uh, finding a part-time job. It's that uh, when I came here, I, I would just apply to random jobs. And then I understood that I wanted something that I could put into my CV. So the strategy went in from uh, working any part time that I got to streamlining it to something that I could put into my CV uh, that was related to my area of work. Uh, so first one that I did was to work in a coffee shop as a team member where I used to do work like uh, take the coffee orders uh, and also pass the coffee orders and uh, make sure that the store is uh, clean and everything is stag stacked. So I found this job uh, while applying on their career website um, and it is a very um, very common uh, coffee shop around London there are so many outlets and it is one of the uh, easiest way to get a part-time when you come to UK and uh, uh, work is not very stressful but at the same time you also get food and drinks and also the pay was around 9.75 at that time that was the minimum wage that I got I think the London wages have gone higher so you might get paid well so I did it for quite some time and then I noticed that it was getting very hard on me. I was not able to uh, do both my job as well as uh, my studies. So I took a break and I focused completely on uh, getting the routine right. So uh, by uh, three or four months, I was on track and I knew what to expect from the college. My assignments were getting done. Uh, I was able to catch up with everything. Then I decided maybe I can start looking for part time. So then i started looking for university jobs and i found a very unique job where i was supporting a disabled student in writing their notes and it was especially chemistry notes so i got to learn uh, new things I, I used to sit with the other students and write their notes and it was not very stressful and the pay for the university jobs like i said before it's really good so i used to get paid like 16 uh, pounds an hour and just do six hours a week and i used to do like that for quite some time and it was kind of a good job uh, you didn't have to work more but you are getting paid uh, equally well that was something that i was doing for quite some time and then i got an opportunity uh, within the university again itself for to work as a research worker so this was more kind of an operational work where you are just sorting the data making sure that the data available on the websites are cleaned and sorted and you i also got to work on a new tool and uh, it was a great learning experience and it also was aligned with my background uh, as i am a healthcare professional from background so it was was aligning to that and I learned a lot I was making a movement from a very a regular part-time jobs to something that was uh, related to my uh, background and my the career that I wanted to choose and after I had done with the research worker I saw there was an opportunity to uh, do some internship within the pharmaceutical industry I grabbed on to that so this was the stepping stone uh, into moving uh, from the regular part times into making sure that this can be converted to a full-time job and here 
this was uh, through networking getting um, contacts from university uh, attending interviews the regular regular full-time interviews for an internship and getting that done and uh, i started off with the internship and after my course was done i was able to start with them as a, on a full-time basis so the point here is that uh, I, I, while you come here everything is going to be very new for you don't be hell bent on getting a part-time job and start uh, working on that and not focusing much on your studies take your time relax get used to your university your courses um, and their uh, submissions and everything and then once you're settled try to find a part-time job everything that you do here has its own respect it should be in a way to build your soft skills then that can go into your cv so don't think that working in a coffee shop or working in a retail shop will not be counted it can be counted uh, if you are someone with no experience and wanting to try a full-time job you can share your experience there for the fact that you can say these are the soft skills that i learned this was my soft skill like i work in a team well i'm able to communicate well and these are the values that i bring so everything that you do here has value but don't try to prioritize on to getting a part-time job try to get your uh, course done go get good grades and uh, make sure that your submissions are meeting the deadline and there is a lot of planning and organization that is required to handle both of them together side by side even though it may just look like 20 hours it's taking a lot of traveling back back and forth and also it may sometimes feel very strenuous so try to limit your part-time hours and if uh, and focus more on your studies so everything goes well on both the sides so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for all your support and uh, please keep the comments coming and also the queries and i'll be happy to answer them uh, in in the meantime thank you so much till we meet next time ciao